In the previous lesson, we learned how to select filtered data in two non-adjacent columns using the filter formula and those ones and zeros that you can see here. If you haven't seen the first lesson, I will put a link in the description and I really encourage you to watch it before watching this video. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to go one step further and we're going to use the sort formula on top of this in two cases. The first one, which is the easy case, and it's sorting the data by one of the columns that I have here. So for example, here I have the formula. I would like to sort this by department. The second case is a bit more complex. I want to sort my data with a column that I did not select. So for example, I want to sort my data by salary in descending order. So let's start with the first case. In the first case, I have my two columns. So it's going to be pretty simple. What you do is this formula looks very big, but you just come here at the beginning and you say sort, then you put a comma at the end and you need to define your sort index. The sort index by default will take the first column, which is name. If I want department, I just put the second column, which is two. Then I close the parentheses and I say enter. And as you can see, I have sorted it by first executive office, IT, production, and then sales. The second case I want to show you is when you have a column that is not in your data set. So if you look here, I have selected my column from employee name to departments, right? From B to F, but I did not select G here to be able to sort. So what do I do? Well, I'm going to teach you the steps and then we can do them together. First step is that you will filter your data the same way you have it filtered here, but instead of only adding until department, you will also add the salary. Then you will sort your data using the salary column. And finally, you will drop the columns that you don't want. So let's do it together from scratch. I'm just gonna go here and do it. So first step, as we said, we want to select from column B to G, and we want all the employees with a salary above 120,000. So here we go. We do equal filter. We open the parentheses. We need to select our array. So we select our data. In order to select all your data, you do control shift and arrow down and you get it. And then you need to select what to include. So to select what to include, we're going to select our salary column, same principle, control shift arrow down, then bigger than, and we select our 120,000. Again, this is dynamic. So if you change this, the data will change. And then we just close the parentheses and say enter. If you see here, I got all the individuals with all their data and their salary that are above $120,000. Now, what I want to do next is to sort this by salary. So I go back to my formula and I add a sort here. So the difference between what I'm doing now and what I did in the first example is that in the first example, I use my sort at the end of what I did. Here I'm using it in the second step because I need to sort my data before dropping this column. So I do sort, this is my array. As you can see, you have array first, and then you need sort index. What is my sort index? Here I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So my sixth column is the salary. So we put six, close the parentheses, we say enter. Here you can see that my salary is going from the smallest to the biggest. If I want to do the opposite, I put comma, and then I have descending or ascending. I'm going to do descending, so minus one, and then I do enter. And as you can see, I have it in descending order. Next, we need to get rid of the columns we don't want, right? So let's go. Let's add a filter at the beginning. I do filter, open the parentheses. My array becomes this big thing that is a bit scary. And then we say include, and we use the technique that we did 
in the first lesson. So we do open curly bracket, close curly bracket, and then close parenthesis. And here I'm going to use 1 for the columns I want to keep, 0 for the columns I want to remove. So first one is the name I want it, so I put 1. Then you have the sex, marital status, date of birth, I don't want. So those are three columns I don't want. So 0, comma, 0, comma, 0, comma. Then I want the department, right? So it's a 1. And then I don't want the salary, so it's a 0. And I say enter. And here you go. You have your data set filtered and sorted by a column that is not in the final result.